I definitely identified myself as a independent, creative personality. I think that independent attitude, almost a little bit rebellious attitude to the image of being a professional was very important to me and why I do design in the first place. We do mostly graphic design and art direction for branding for both um, local and local Chinese and some international brands. I grew up in Canada. I had a cousin actually who, who worked in uh, furniture retailing in Beijing for the Olympics. So then I came just to visit him and actually do an internship in Ogilvy and Mather, which is an international ad agency. And that's, that's my first time in Beijing. So uh, in Ogilvy, every year there would be a day that's called David Ogilvy Day. But I was just so bored like at the office because I was an intern, sometimes I had no work. So then I just started drawing like people of the office and then I drew David Ogilvy Day on it. I thought it was funny. But then the, actually the, the CEO of Ogilvy saw it and then she called me to her office. She's like, I want to use this for, for David Ogilvy Day this year. I think that's definitely one of the first memorable projects I did in China. One of my favorite projects I've done the past few years, which is Big Small Coffee. You know, coffee did not come from China. That's a fact. So that's, that was an interesting comment to me. And how do we realize that? How do we show that? We did that by appealing to just what coffee means to um, people here now. What it means is something that just brings you joy, right? Let's just speak to the fun of having a coffee. So then we did that visual by showing visuals that are just completely unrelated to coffee. And we showed, um, I think one of the mo more memorable visuals was a dinosaur sniffing beans. So it's very random, but it's just, it, it's about that imagination of what happens when a dinosaur sniffs beans. I don't know, but <laughs> it's both scary and funny at the same time. And then another one, which is a craft beer brand, um, which is called Peiping Machine. And similar to the coffee culture thing, beer, again, is a European thing. That's just a fact. So they are a, a microbrewery of uh, craft beer that is based in Beijing. So what is their take on beer? Them, they see themselves as they owe a kind of a mission as an example for other cities too. This is how we do beer in China. They have a very a sense of very historic seriousness to it. It's very uniquely Beijing. So we, we did that, we did an identity for them, a branding, logo, and all the visuals. In this project, I tackled something that I was, I was always scared to tackle, which is Chinese typography. As a Chinese person who grew up in the West, I think I, I always lacked an understanding of the Chinese writing and characters, but I, I loved it. Brands trying to appear very Western, and now not so much. Um, now actually trying to find their own identity. I'm drawn to be in China, both for the work opportunities, but also for the culture itself. Just like how Chinese brands are finding ways to be very authentic to their own ed cultural identity. Through my work, I think I'm trying to find authenticity to my own identity as well. I have a deeper connection to China and my Chinese-ness, but there will always be a part of me that is very Western-minded. And I've come to peace with that, and I think it's informative of how I practice design and just being a person in my life. I'm just a mix of these things, and I'm inspired by both every day and every decision I make. My name is Ronald Tao, and I do graphic design.